Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another unboxing. So this time, um, somebody purchased the Enchanted Oracle deck from my wish list. So if you would like to get me a gift, stream.gift slash Amphrodite, um, you don't have to, but this was on the wish list and it was purchased. So shout out to Marcella. I'm excited. So this one is one that I saw um, and I was super excited about it because the imagery was really, really beautiful. It's full of Queen of Pops. Um, here's what I will say. So I'm a little bit worried about this deck because if any boobs or vagina or any private parts show, I can't show them. So I do have washi tape. So if any of you are wondering like how to like, you know, cover decks and stuff, um, and some of you have noticed it in a few of my cards, um, I just get washi tape, Sailor Moon washi tape, or I have Diva washi tape, like something cute and pink, whatever, and I just put it over the, the genitals or the boobies or the nipples or whatever, so I'm a little bit worried about this because it might have that. If it does, I'll have to like cover it. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go over this. So I, I'm not the biggest fan of this box. Um, it's okay, but it's um, very large and it's flimsy. Um, and I'm not like, it's okay. It's an okay box. Um, I've seen better for sure, but it's not bad. It's just, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I do like the color. I like the, the pastel purple and the black. And I even like this, this person on the, on the cover. Um, but I'm, I'm not crazy about the box. And as you can see, I'm not the biggest fan of boxes that open like this either, because it's really difficult for me to open. See? I will say, to be fair to the person who made this deck, I am really bad at opening things. So it opens like this. Um, I mean, this is why I don't like boxes like this. Um, the deck is so tiny, and it's all this space for no reason. So I, I hate the giant things, because when you go to put it back, you don't need all of this. Um, now, this is the guidebook, which I could probably take a look at, but usually not the necessary and look at all this negative space like this is just a nitpick um i do have to be honest i just, just not a fan of this i have so many decks and i have so many boxes that are huge that take up so much space that i'm not crazy about so that right there is a little bit of a small nuisance okay so um let's go ahead and look i'm smelling it it smells like it doesn't smell like a book. Does anyone else smell new books? This doesn't smell like a book. It smells like the penny saver. That's what it smells like. I mean, it is thick. Let me change. Oops, I just knocked over my stuff. I'll pick it up later. Let me change the scene. So it does, it does, it smells like the penny saver. It is a pretty thick book. Let me, I don't, well, I want to be careful that there's no boobs. Um, so I guess it just, it's got, a, it, every de every card has a very long message attached to it. There's a lot of reading here. Um, this is a very, very, very overwhelming. I will say this. I do really like the fact that this book has like stars on it. Can you see that? Like it's got an aesthetic to it. They did really well with aesthetic. Like even this on the left, you can kind of see like, they did do really well with aesthetic. The box had a good aesthetic. The booklet has a very good aesthetic. You know, I'm a fan of aesthetic. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I mean, this is probably really helpful, um, but I'm not gonna read it right now. So where did I put the deck? Here it is, okay. Um, so, let's, oh my God, ASMR. I can't open these things. I, uh, I hate when they have like that. Okay, I got it. Okay. These are very small. Right off the bat. They're the exact same size as maybe a l slightly larger than a tarot card, like a traditional tarot card. Typically, I do not like when my Oracle decks are the same size as my tarot cards. I like when they're a little bit bigger. 
that is my personal preference just because they stand out a little bit differently. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, so, for instance, like this is the Dark Mirror Oracle deck. Like, do you see what I mean? Like I, I prefer Oracle decks to be bigger. So, this is a personal preference. Now, um, these are matte and sleek, which I like, and I actually like this cardstock quality. For the price point, this is a better cardstock quality. It's thicker, it reminds me of the, the other ones that I have. Um, the design on the back looks like a music note to me. Um, again, it fits the aesthetic, I like it. I do wish that it was a little bit more intricate. Um, you know, for instance, take a look at this one, right? A nitpick, it's not really that big of a deal, but. All right, so let's just go ahead and look. Now I'm gonna do these over here before I show them just in case there's any boobies. All right, so this one is White Magic. This is the one that's on the cover. So she definitely looks pretty beautiful. Um, this would probably be like, I would assume this would be like Blessings. I'm not gonna go through the whole book, it'll take forever, so I'll have to do that later. Temptation, I mean, we know what this one is. Now, one of the things that really drew me to this deck was the imagery had a lot of um, masquerades on it, and I have a masquerade fetish, so I very, very much like that. Um, temptation is pretty obvious there, so definitely love the Queens of Pops on this so far. Oh yeah, this is Steampunk. Tattered Dreams. Now this card right here reminds me of um, Magnificent, or what's her name? Maleficent? Magnificent, I can't with the spindle or whatever that is. It's gonna be difficult to get this to focus. Um, that's one thing I don't like about this camera, but you can pretty much see it. Spirit of Yule, so there's a baby here. I do like the imagery here. It reminds me a little bit of the door that uh, Pluto guards. Oh, I should probably, well, we can leave them there, it's fine. Spirit of Sam Samhain. Ooh, this one is very witchy. I'm not really sure when I would use these. I'm trying to think of when a good time to use this deck would be. Ooh, Silver Moon Fairy. I've seen this exact type of card in my fairy deck that some of you have seen me use. Love this imagery. Hopefully there's a pink one in here, but there probably isn't. Oh, okay, Mood. I do like this one. Shadow Weaver. I do like this one. She's giving me, um, she's giving me Melina from Mortal Kombat tease. Just a little bit with the outfit. Just like a tiny little bit. That's a Queen of Pop. Serenity. Oh my God, Princess Serenity. This is clearly inspired. I mean, she's gorgeous. Actually, doesn't that look like Tati a little bit? Am I crazy? She kind of looks like Tati a little bit. Beautiful. I like this card. I should turn these around so that they're... Renaissance Rose. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna have to look at what each uh, what each card is intended to mean because these are very much all over the place. I wonder if that's like a a lover's card. Nightfall. Ooh, this one reminds me of the Charmed Sisters addict. The power of three will set us free. I really love this imagery. This is really cute. I really like this deck. Night Queen, ugh. Okay, this looks like Raven. Tell me this doesn't look like Raven, the drag queen. It even has a Raven on it, so this has to be inspired. Right, that's a Raven? I don't know, but it, maybe it's a crow actually. But it looks like Raven, the drag queen. Nemesis. Ooh, okay. She is ready to slay some hoes. I do like her outfit. Oh, 
Okay, well, this one is a mermaid. Um, you can't see anything. Mystic mermaid. I'm going to have to look at the deck and see what they mean. Actually, you know what? Why don't I... Um, I'll pull for myself, and then I'll pull, like, a card, and then we'll read what it means and see what it see what happens. Oh, this is a fertility one. Mother Earth. Earthala. <laughs> I like this one. Ooh, Mermaid Dreams. This one is really pretty. She's got purple hair and everything. Okay, well, it's not really showing up on camera, but... I mean, I don't think that's how bodies work, but it's fine. <laughs> Maiden Moon. Okay, she did that. Love Springs Eternal. Ooh, this must be a lover's card. This is very um, uh, Eugenia Cooney. Like, this is very, like, um, Twilight meets um, Jack and Sally. Tim Burton is, sh is shaking. Ooh, reminds me of the Corpse Bride. Hopscotch. Lavender Moon. Oh, wow. I like this one. This imagery is strong. I feel like I need to like cosplay that alpha. Jewel of the Sea. Ooh, I like how many mermaids are in this. We do stand a mermaid. Ooh, that's me. Honestly, me as a mermaid, to be honest. Just like, I'm too pretty. Look at my bubble behind me. Look what's in my wig. Like, ugh, we stand. Innocence. Oh, there's a baby on here too. This looks like Lady Gaga. This is literally inspired by Lady Gaga, and you can't tell me anything else. The baby has wings, but it doesn't have a body. I'm confused. But either way, this is Lady Gaga. You cannot tell me that's not Lady Gaga. It's got the born this way hair and everything. That is Lady Gaga born this way. Gypsy Rose. Isn't that the name of the girl that was like, had all that drama? Green woman. This is very dangerous woman. The peacock feather. Masquerade. I don't like the color. I'm not a fan of that mask, but... Green man. Okay, well, here's a green woman and a green man. I don't really know what that means. This one looks like Sasquatch. Sorry for the noise. Ooh, gothique. Went to school. Huh? Oh my god. This is every babish dream. She's coming to kill you. Like, ugh, queen. Look at her tetas. Look at them. Oh my god. She looks like she streams on Twitch. Gothic Rose. It's a lot of gothic cards. Wait, what is, is that a moth? Mothara! She looks like the monsters. Entwined. Oh my god, me and my man. Except I don't like men with long hair, but whatever, it's me and my man. Oh my god, she's giving me, like, early 2000s Avril Lavigne. He was a skater boy, I said see him later boy. This guy is not cute. Is that a head behind him? His hair looks like a head. Emerald Princess. Okay, this is a queen of pop. Look at her wig. She's like, oh yeah? Really? You think you're gonna take my man? Huh, <laughs> you wish. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get it to focus. There it is. Look at her fucking abs. Like, she did that. She snatched. Like, this girl doesn't eat. Like, she's like, I don't eat. I breathe water. I'm a mermaid. What do mermaids eat, actually? I, I don't know. Do they eat fish? What does a mermaid eat? Do they eat regular food? Dragoness. I don't like this one's wig. I'm not a fan of that wig. It looks like a Snooky Bump It times 400. This is not my favorite card. I guess you're not supposed to like it, right? She's a dragoness. Dragon Witch. Okay. This is very, um, da um, what's her name from Game of Thrones? Um, 
Clancy or whatever. This looks like Lady Gaga again to me. This looks like Lady Gaga when she had that, that big ass wig uh, for Venus, her Venus performance at the VMAs. Dark Queen. Okay, well, she's definitely taking over. Some of these seem a bit repetitive. I like that outfit. She snatched. Dark Enchantment. Okay, well, I don't know what that means, but she's got a butterfly and some fire, so she's about to light stuff up. That looks like Amy Lee from Evanescence. Tell me I'm lying. Crimson Moon. Um... This one looks like, um, what's her name? Um, Michelle Trashenberg. That looks like Michelle Trashenberg, Queen of Pop. We stand her. Pale Queen. Um, Sarah Nunos. Okay, so th everything is pretty much blocked, but I probably do need to put something over this butt. There's a butt, but I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. But yeah, her thighs are, are covered and stuff, but... There. Celtic witch, okay. Just like a fire pixie. Okay, ooh, bewitching. Okay, I like this one's wig. Okay, she's got a good wig. She definitely was like, I learned a thing or two from the drag queens I've been hanging around. That was like Alyssa Milano. Phoebe Hollowell shaking. Excuse me. Autumn Splendor is the last one. So this one is kind of not my favorite. Okay. Well, that's that deck. Um, I really do like this imagery. Not quite sure what they all mean. So what I'm going to do is shuffle, pull one, and then I almost... Did what I did with the last one, where I reversed them. Um, and then read from the book what it means. So I guess I'm gonna set the intention here to give me insight and in what's in store for me. Keep it simple, right? Okay. I pulled Serenity. Oh my God, Queen Serenity. Of course I'd pull the, the Sailor Moon card. I really like this one. So let's go ahead and see what the guidebook says. So I don't know how to find this. See, that's one thing that's annoying. There's no like, nothing is numbered. So I basically have to go one by one through these, which I'm not crazy about, unless I'm blind, but I don't particularly think that there is a number system to them, so. That right there, they do lose some points because looking up cards is a little bit annoying when you get a new deck, especially an Oracle deck, because Oracle decks can be anything. You know, tarot is universal, Oracles are not. So, did I just miss it? See, this is why I hate this, no? Okay. No. That noise is really getting on my nerves, so I'm sure it's getting on nerves too. Sorry. See, this is why I hate this. And my ear is ringing too. Okay, that's innocence. Well, we have to be getting close, right? And also, there's like three pages per, so it takes a lot of moving. Okay, this must be one of the last ones. Maiden Moon. Mermaid Dreams or Serenity. Okay, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Here it is. Okay. So let's look at the imagery first before we read this. So what we have here looks like temperance to me. It's got the cups, there are fairies. Serenity is usually like peace. Okay, it will not focus on the fairy. Oh, those are butterflies, not fairies. Okay. 
What's that in the background? I thought it was a dish. Okay. Serenity. When you find yourself navigating tumultuous waters in your life, it's easy to feel out of control. But imagine yourself literally adrift in a stormy sea. Your instinct, your fear, may cause you to flail about, but that doesn't help, does it? In fact, it usually makes the situation worse. As you wear yourself out and have no energy left to take useful action. In times like these, you'll want to find your peaceful center, a place where you feel strong and balanced. If you can find this place, you can rise above the, tu the tumult and at the very least not exhaust yourself or make the situation worse. The most you'll be able to hear the voice in your heart guide you as you seek the best solutions. Clad in white and purple, signifying purity and spirituality. Of course, I pulled up a spiritual card. The Serenity Fairy stands on a pillar. A strong, intricately carved pillar represents her inner core, her peaceful center. Standing on it, she is about to rise above the what a tumult? I don't know if I'm saying that right. And chaos. The power of the full moon enhancing her intuitive powers and is echoed by the amethyst worn near her heart. The ethereal moths, oh, they're moths, carried to her to the sweet, clear voice of the universe, revealing to her the path of peace. The actions she will be take become like stars, lights of truth and tranquility that she pours onto the troubled waters below. Oracle message. When facing chaotic or troubled times, there are new, any numerous effective approaches. Sometimes a strong stance is necessary. Sometimes a gentle hand is better. In this case, you are being advised to rise above the situation and seek the counsel of your heart. Don't waste your energy by fretting, worrying, or becoming angry. Pull back and ask you to show you a peaceful approach. This may also be an opportunity for you to grow spiritually. <gasps> Ooh, I'm getting a spiritual level up. Serenity visualization. It's all very well and good to want to step back, but when our instinct is fight, fret, or flail, it's good to have a plan. Meditation is stepping back. It's very nature. It's so obnoxious, anyways. It's an ideal way to hear the voice of your heart as you quiet your mind. Sit comfortably in your chair within your feet on the ground. Okay, they're basically telling you how to meditate. If you know the peaceful, what is a serenity charm? If you know the peaceful actions, you must take take your fairy charm. Okay, so they tell you how to have how to make a charm. Okay, so there's actually like spell work in here. I'm not a witch, so but there's actual spell work in here. So yeah, I mean, I guess I can pull another one, Mother Earth. I mean, that one's probably a very grounding card. I'm not gonna go into it. Mermaid dreams. Um, if I were to take a gander at this, this looks like uh, a message coming to me in a dream soon. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, overall, I do really like this. I like the cardstock quality. I like the aesthetic, I like the imagery. Don't know how helpful the Oracle deck will actually be. I have to use it a little bit and get familiar with it. I will tell you this, this is totally gonna to be a very difficult deck to pick up and use because they all mean something weird and different and they have weird names. This is not your typical Oracle deck. This is totally not beginner friendly. Um, I'm so very, 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 very in over my head with this deck, so I can only imagine. Um, perhaps if you were a witch, it might be a little bit easier, but I doubt it. It's probably still uh, somewhat difficult. So um, I will say, because I like the card stock quality, because I like the imagery, um, I am going to give it, let me think here. Well, I mean, it's definitely not majorly intuitive. Like, this is not a deck you can pick up and go. So they are going to lose a few points for that, but that's okay. It's not a bad thing. Um, I'm not super crazy about the size the size of the deck is a little bit small so for me personally lose a few points for that as well um i'm gonna have to go ahead and give this a 7 out of 10. um i do really like the imagery and i do really like this deck um i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 that's 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 what i think feel is fair um, most of it is mo is personal preference for me, um, but like I said, it's really difficult to to just like pick up and use this deck, which is where I, I, I kind of took most of the points off because it's a very heavy learning curve. Until I really get into it, I'm not going to really be able to give uh, too much uh, advice here. So, if you guys like that and you want to see more unboxing, let me know. Uh, just make sure you follow me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Twitch, and Until next time, bye guys.